advantage of the positive performances throughout the day for the Wahoos. Well, it's time for that I am on the men's side. And again, the last two events going to Virginia Tech. Ivanov, Ramadan, winning the 500 free and the 100 fly heading into the final break. And Virginia Tech, by virtue of that, closing up the score to 134-128. So this is a Tech team poised to do more than find something to build on. They're in position to perhaps claim the meet if they can finish strong in the IM and then the 400 free. All that's still very much on the table for the Hokies here. And a very entertaining finish on the men's side to the Commonwealth Clash. Lane three for Virginia Tech where Eichberg is looking strong. And Toe-to-toe -to -toe with him is Storch over in lane two. And the backstroke portion. Eichberg under the flags in just as impressive fashion. Well, what a lift this would be to put Virginia Tech in command heading into that final event, the 400 free, if Eichberg can continue. Coming on for Virginia, down in lane six is Conway. And Storch right beside of Eichberg. In lane two, trying to close. And will do so just a bit ahead of the turn. Looking more and more as if it's going to be settled between those two, Eichberg and Storch. With Eichberg flexing his muscles for Virginia Tech at the moment. Coming home free. It is Eichberg, blanketed by a couple of Cavaliers, but neither of them able to catch. Eichberg in that spot, but Conway was. Look at the job he did closing down in lane six. He will end up barely eclipsing Eichberg, and in doing so, prevent Virginia Tech from claiming this event. And you see the energy, you see the emotion there for what Conway was able to do in lane six. And again, that was with Virginia protecting the slightest of advantages at 134 to 128 on the men's side. And you could sense it with all the excitement in the building. A very important 148.10.